In this video, we're going to show you how to integrate Print Aura and WooCommerce. Uh, this assumes you already have WordPress installed as well as WooCommerce. But, uh, but first what we're going to do is we're just going to double check that we have the most recent version of WooCommerce. So if you go into plugins, you can see there is no notice that says we need to upgrade WooCommerce. So we're good there. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure that you don't have any plugins that are maintenance mode or coming soon because those plugins disable the API, which means that Printora and WooCommerce won't be able to communicate. You won't be able to add products or get your order. So make sure you don't have any of those types of plugins. Now, the next thing you need to do is you're going to need to get the Printora plugin for WooCommerce. So from Printora.com, assuming you're logged into your account, you're going to go over to My Stores and then WooCommerce. And you're just going to click here to begin to download the Printora WooCommerce plugin. Um, download it to your computer and then come back here. We're going to need to add a new plugin. Um, the Printora plugin is not available through um, not available through WordPress. So you are going to need to go this direction. We'll click Upload Plugin and then Browse and Install Now. And then we will activate the plugin. All right, you can see that now the Printor WooCommerce API plugin has been installed. And you'll see a new menu item show up in WordPress. Now we're going to click on this real quick to go over a few things. So um, we're just going to confirm, because you may need to know this later, file size limit. This says that this server has a limit of two megabytes. Now generally two megabytes you should be fine because you're just you're really just uploading um, mock-ups or store images that you'll display to your customers so that might be okay but if you're running into problems you might need to double check that later. Uh, we want to make sure that we see this in green that your file permissions that we're able to write your files and then lastly this API token where it says to visit this, to copy and paste this um, at this link. Please disregard that. That is part of an old version of our app and do not do that. Uh, we will be removing that um, in our next version. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is we're gonna need to set up your permalinks. So if you roll over settings, you'll see permalinks. Now, we want to change these the URL structure to anything besides having these question marks which is default so I'd recommend just setting that to post name and if you scroll down a little bit you'll see product permalink base you can use any of these for just not this default which contains that question mark so for this example we will set that to product and we're going to want to make sure we click save changes all right, so we're good there. Now, the next thing we're need to do is we're going to need to set up um, we're going to need to set up our API. So we're going to go to users and then your profile. And we're going to scroll down here and we should see oops. We're going to need to generate API key. Actually, make sure I got and click update. And now we should see, scrolling, scrolling. We should see that we now have our keys available. Um, that may show up a little bit different. It may also show up API and it may say enable the rest API. Um, either one of those is okay. okay. You just may need to click and then uh, click update profile. We're gonna wanna make sure this is set to read and write and then we're going to click update profile again. All right, so now we have everything we need to set up our store. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, cop we're gonna wanna copy and paste this data. That's the consumer key and go back to the same page we went to, which is my stores, WooCommerce and we'll just copy them. We're gonna actually enter our store. Now it's really important that you enter your URL correctly. If you don't, 
And what I mean is the www. And in this example, actually, it does. We do not use the www in uh, for this particular website. Every website's different. So we'll, we'll copy and paste that key. We'll come back here and copy and paste the secret. And then we will click install. And so what you're going to see, you'll see this green box that'll say, awesome, your WooCommerce shop is now authorized. And this means that you, you're ready. You can now start to uh, add and, and edit products in your WooCommerce store. Um, so, but we'll create another video about that. So you're all set.